Hello everyone. Welcome to Tells Visionary, Word of the Day Omnibus. A recap of all words featured in the year 2022. We started the year on January 1st with tongue lashing as our word of the day. T-O-N-G-U-E-L-A-S-H-I-N-G Tongue lashing Tongue lashing is a 13-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Tongue lashing is a scolding. If you give someone a tongue lashing, you speak angrily to them about something that they have done wrong. It also means an act of severe criticism. Similar words include chastising, rebuking, chiding, and lambasting. Examples of sentences using tongue lashing are My mother gave me a tongue lashing for staying out past my curfew. On top of a tongue lashing, he got a beating as well. The assistant manager gave him a five-minute tongue lashing. I received the longest sharpest tongue lashing of my young life. On January 2nd, our word of the day was nonplus. N-O-N-P-L-U-S. Nonplus. Nonplus is a seven-letter word in a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. Nonplus is a state of confusion where you don't know what to do, think, or say. It also means being so surprised and confused that you are unsure how to react. Similar words include, bewilder, dumbfound, flummox, baffle, mystify, perplex, puzzle, stupefy, and amaze. Examples of sentences using nonplus are Such an odd question nonplus Diane. The sudden announcement that the company where he had worked for the past 20 years was declaring bankruptcy and shutting its doors nonplussed Raj. I don't know, he said, nonplussed at the question. His sudden appearance completely nonplussed me. The strange customs he saw everywhere in the country nonplussed him. On January 3rd, our word of the day was interpolate. I-N-T-E-R-P-O-L-A-T-E. -E. Interpolate. Interpolate is an 11-letter word and a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. Interpolate means to alter or corrupt something such as a text by inserting a new or foreign matter. Interpolate also means to add something in the middle of a text, piece of music, or into a conversation. Similar words include, insert, interpose, falsify, introduce, enter, add, and incorporate. Examples of sentences using interpolate are Jack interpolated a lot of spurious matter into the manuscript. He smoothly interpolates fragments from other songs into his own. Illustrations were interpolated in the text. The filmmaker interpolates stills of Marlon Brando during the recital of the poem. Jane interpolated a very critical comment in the discussion. This passage was interpolated into the report. Dispassionate was our word of the day for January 4th. D-I-S-P-A-S-S-I-O-N-A-T-E Dispassionate Dispassionate is a 13-letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. Dispassionate means free from or unaffected by passion or devoid of personal feeling or bias.
It also means being able to think clearly or make good decisions because of not being influenced by emotions. Similar words include, candid, equal, even-handed, fair, impartial, just, non-partisan, objective, and unbiased. Examples of sentences using dispassionate are Journalists aim to be dispassionate observers. He spoke in a dispassionate tone about the accident. We as prosecutors try to be dispassionate about the cases we bring. He spoke in the flat, dispassionate tone of a lecturer. Finally, the engineer's dispassionate voice came through. Our word of the day for January 5th was linchpin. L, I, N, C, H, P, I, N. Linchpin. Linchpin is an eight-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Linchpin refers to the most important member of a group or part of a system that holds together the other members or parts or makes it possible for them to operate as intended. A linchpin is the person or thing that serves as the essential element in a complicated or delicate system or structure the one that holds everything together. Similar words include, backbone, anchor, cornerstone, keystone, mainstay, essential, foundation, and pillar. Examples of sentences using linchpin are Jackson is the linchpin of the British athletics team. My mother had always been the linchpin of our family. Nurses are the linchpin of the health service. Roberts, the linchpin of their defense has been banned for three games for his red card. He is the linchpin of this firm. On January 6, we introduced a new word feral. F-E-R-A-L. Feral. Feral is a five-letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. Feral means wild and untamed, especially for domesticated animals having returned to the wild. It also means not domesticated or cultivated having escaped from domestication and become wild. Similar words include, savage, undomesticated, untamed, wild, wilding, fierce, and unbroken. Examples of sentences using feral are. She barely recognized the feral look on his face and despair slid through her. He looked at me with a feral grin. Feral pigs are many in New Zealand. Most of our red deer are feral, having been introduced to or having escaped from deer parks. On occasions, a feral cat will move into a burrow and have a litter down there. The mother's feral skull was terrifying enough to make me empty my pockets without hesitation. Corpulence was our word of the day for January 7th. C-O-R-P-U-L-E-N-C-E -E. Corpulence Corpulence is a ten-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Corpulence refers to the state or quality of being fat or obese. It also means bulkiness or largeness of the body, fatness, and portliness. Similar words include, chubbiness, fat, fleshiness, obesity, plumpness, pudginess, and rotundity. Examples of sentences using corpulence are. Corpulence is a sensitive word for most overweight people. Though the doctors warned him that with his corpulence wine was dangerous for him he drank a great deal. 
The corpulence of the adult pig astounded those who had never seen one before. Slimming soap is being advertised as being a rare eastern remedy for corpulence. His nickname was Hippo because of his corpulence. Our word of the day for January 8th was in rapture. E N R A P T U R E. In rapture. In rapture is a nine letter word and a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. In rapture means to fill with delight. It also means to give someone very great pleasure. Similar words include, elate, elevate, exhilarate, intoxicate, transport, and charm. Examples of sentences using enrapture are The comedy is innocent enough for kids and weird enough to enrapture adults. The magic of his music still enraptures us. Enraptured by the charm and beauty of the island he resolved to make it his home. Her melodious voice enraptured the audience. The Harry Potter books have enraptured millions of young readers. Oba is a showman who loves to enrapture you with a good story and then floor you with a killer twist. We introduced the word wanderlust on January 9th. W A N D E R L U S T. Wanderlust. Wanderlust is a 10 letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Wanderlust is a very strong or irresistible impulse or desire to wander or travel. It also means the wish to travel far away and to many places. Similar words include, excursion, sightseeing, tour, transit, trek, trip, and itchy feet. Examples of sentences using wanderlust are. Wanderlust has led him to many parts of the world. Steve who'd always had a bit of wanderlust was itching for a new adventure. In July Wanderlust takes over the whole nation. He was often quoted, once you've got Wanderlust in your blood you've got it for life. His Wanderlust would not allow him to stay long in one spot. On January 10th, our word of the day was insipid. I N S R P R D. Insipid. Insipid is a seven letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns enormous, dog like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns many, few, millions, eleven. Insipid means lacking flavor weak or tasteless not exciting or interesting, dull, lifeless. It also means not having a strong taste or character or having no interest or energy. Similar words include, tasteless, dull, flavorless, bland, unflavored, weak, savorless, watery, and unappetizing. Examples of sentences using insipid are I'll be glad when my kids start enjoying real food instead of these insipid frozen meals. Why anyone buys music with such insipid lyrics is a mystery. The food was rather insipid and needed gingering up. The group are an insipid imitation of the Beatles. Most canned coffee tastes either harsh or insipid. She said she was a good cook but the food she cooked was insipid. On January 11th, bamboozle was our word of the day. B A M B O O Z L E. Bamboozle. 
Bamboozle is a nine-letter word in a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action occurrence or state of being. Bamboozled means to confuse deceive or cheat by trickery. It also means to deceive by underhanded methods. Similar words include, trick, deceive, delude, hoodwink, mislead, take in, dupe, and fool. Examples of sentences using bamboozle are, don't bamboozle players with excessive information. I got bamboozled by the salesperson to buy a more expensive model. He bamboozled Canada's largest banks in a massive counterfeit scam. She was bamboozled into telling them her credit card number. You have no reason to bamboozle me. Glutton was our word of the day on January 12th. G L U T T O N. Glutton. Glutton is a seven letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. A glutton is a person who eats and drinks excessively, an excessively greedy eater. It also refers to a person who regularly eats and drinks more than is needed. Similar words include, cormorant, gorger, gourmandizer, gourmand, and overeater. Examples of sentences using glutton are, I can't control my eating, it's hard when people don't understand and call you a glutton. He's such a glutton that he ate the whole cake. Abe is a real glutton when it comes to junk food but somehow, he stays skinny as a toothpick. Sometimes he gets hungry and eats like a glutton. Uncle Richard was a glutton who ate everything in sight. On January 13, our word of the day was aseptic. A -S -E -P. T. I. C. Aseptic. Aseptic is a seven letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns enormous, dog like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns many, few, millions, eleven. Aseptic means medically clean or without infection. It also means free from contamination caused by harmful bacteria viruses or other microorganisms. Similar words include, germ-free, hygienic, sanitary, and sterile. Examples of sentences using aseptic are. The use of aseptic instruments in the operating room has reduced the incidence of infections. Vaccine shots must be made in strictly aseptic settings. Great care is taken to keep the operating rooms aseptic. She had an aseptic bandage wrapped around her arm. These wounds are usually infected and the sun's rays render them aseptic and they heal readily. They understood the principles of aseptic surgery very well. On January 14th, our word of the day was cutaneous. C U T A N E O U S. Cutaneous. Cutaneous is a nine letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns enormous, dog like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns many, few, millions, eleven. Cutaneous has to do with the skin, affecting the skin or relating to the skin. Similar words include, epidermal, cutaneal, dermal, cuticular, and dermic. Examples of sentences using cutaneous are. The initial indications of the disease were cutaneous itching tingling and formication. 
Cutaneous anthrax occurs when the bacterium enters skin wounds. The dermatologist prescribed an antibiotic ointment to treat my cutaneous infection. It often injures the health of a stranger and covers the surface of the body with cutaneous eruptions. The caterer generally gets infected in a superficial cutaneous sort of way. Is the grade of cutaneous irritation the same in all cases of scabies? January 15th saw Pooba as our word of the day. P O O H B A H. Pooba. Pooba is a seven letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. A pooba is an arrogant or conceited person of importance. It also refers to someone who has a lot of influence or too much influence who thinks they are more important than they really are. Similar words include, big shot, heavy hitter, heavyweight, kingpin, and major leaguer. Examples of sentences using Pooba are Hollywood Poobars tried to talk him into making a movie. The more they talked to party Poobars the more they realized what was happening. Pooba officials challenged the law on free speech grounds. She is not just some symbolic Pooba. Jane regarded her father as a self-important Pooba. January 16th our word of the day was imposture. I M P O S T U R E. Imposture. Imposture is a nine letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Imposture is the act or practice of deceiving using an assumed character or name. In other words, it means the act of pretending to be someone else to deceive others. Similar words include, impersonation, misrepresentation, pretense, deceit, deception, duping, trickery, hoax, ruse, and fraud. Examples of sentences using imposture are, As soon as the immigration officer saw the fake passport, he knew the traveler was taking part in an imposture. Soiled by her imposture she remained silent. Hank was willing to pretend he was a priest as long as the imposture allowed him to get close to the church safe. The scam artist's imposture involved convincing elderly people he could increase their retirement incomes for a small fee. If the heiress has been taken in by John's imposture, she may be in danger of losing her fortune to a con man. On January 17th, our word of the day was forebear. F-O-R-E-B-E-A-R. -E -E forebear. Forebear is an eight-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. A forebear is an ancestor or a relative who lived in the past. It also means a person from whom one is descended. Similar words include, ancestor, predecessor, progenitor, forebearer, forefather, and grandfather. Examples of sentences using forebear are, Many of us conform to the outdated customs laid down by our forebears. John's forebears fought in the American Civil War. In the land of my forebears women sit around and wait for their men. I am hoping that a visit to the land of my forebears will help me get in touch with my roots. Generations of his forebears had lived in London. On January 18, our word of the day was languish. L-A-N-G-U-I-S-H. 
Languish. Languish is an eight-letter word in a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. To languish means to lose vigor or vitality, fail in health, become weak, and droop. It also means to suffer deprivation, hardship, or neglect often for a long time. Similar words include, decline, waste away, fade away, weaken, wilt, decay, emaciate, and wither. Examples of sentences using languish are New inventions often languish in the laboratory for years. In the Tower of London, prisoners used to languish in chains, cold and darkness. Sure, everyone wants a cute, funny kitten but adult cats often languish in shelters. Many detainees were left to languish in crowded cells. If you let your new blog languish with no new content for too long, people will think it's been abandoned. January 19th our word of the day was induct. I-N-D-U-C-T. Induct. Induct is a six-letter word and a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. Induct means to admit someone formally to a post or organization. It also means to introduce someone with a special ceremony to an organization or group, or beliefs or ideas. Similar words include, inaugurate, initiate, install, instate, invest, seat, and baptize. Examples of sentences using induct are The club will induct six new members this year. There was a ceremony to induct the president of the academy. The baseball association inducted the pitcher into the baseball hall of fame. The right thing to my mind is to induct children and not to indoctrinate them. In 2015, Grohl also showed up to help induct Jet, playing with her Miley Cyrus and the Blackhearts. Dust up was our word of the day on January 20th. D U S T U P. Dust up. Dust up is a six letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. A dust up is an angry dispute. It also means a fight or quarrel. Similar words include, run-in, wrangle, row, clash, fracas, fray, quarrel, scuffle, and skirmish. Examples of sentences using dust-up are He'd had a dust-up with Vera. John came home with a black eye from a dust-up at the park. The teacher put a stop to the boy's dust-up before it could come to blows. He's now facing suspension after a dust-up with the referee. I just can't see him putting the uniform back on after this latest dust-up. Philip had a dust-up with a guy in that new bar across the street. On January 21st, our word of the day was vainglorious. V. A. R. N. G. L. O. R. I. O. U. S. Vainglorious. Vainglorious is a 12-letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. Vainglorious means showing too much pride in your abilities or achievements, boastful. It also means being excessively proud of oneself or one's achievements being overly vain. Similar words include, pompous, complacent, conceited, egotistic, prideful, proud, self-conceited, and vain. Examples of sentences using vainglorious are 
I saw right through the vainglorious young man and rejected his advances. In Britain, he is regarded as a vainglorious fool. Let us not become vainglorious provoking one another and envying one another. A vainglorious woman who always insists on being the center of attention. He was rather vainglorious about his war record. It is very vainglorious of you to think that the truth is on your side. Yesteryear was our word of the day on January 22nd. Y, E, S, T, E, R, Y, E, A, R. Yesteryear. Yesteryear is a 10-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Yesteryear means a time in the past. It also means time gone by especially the recent past. Similar words include, bygone days, days gone by, history, past times, yesterday, your, good old days, and golden days. Examples of sentences using yesteryear are, the magnificent big boats of yesteryear have virtually vanished. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. The teen idols of yesteryear are now middle-aged husbands. They are the Hollywood stars of yesteryear. We want to get away from all those stories of yesteryear. We are often told that the politicians of yesteryear were greater figures than the politicians of today. On January 23rd, our word of the day was robust. R, O, B, U, S, T. Robust. Robust is a six-letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. Robust means strong, healthy, and vigorous. It also means sturdy and unlikely to break or fail. Similar words include, able-bodied, bouncing, fit, hale, healthy, hearty, sound, well-conditioned, and wholesome. Examples of sentences using robust are, she was almost 90 years old but still very robust. His robust strength made him survive the disaster. The company is taking a more robust approach to management. No handshake for Julie she gave each of us a robust hug. Singapore has a glittering skyline and a robust economy. Following World War II, numerous robust machines were developed. On January 24th, our word of the day was prognosticate. P-R-O-G-N-O-S-T-I-C-A-T-E. Prognosticate. Prognosticate is a 13-letter word and a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. Prognosticate means to foretell or prophesy a future event. It also means to give a judgment about what is likely to happen in the future. Similar words include, augur, call, forecast, foretell, predict, presage, and prophesy. Examples of sentences using prognosticate are. He is using current trends to prognosticate what the workplace of the future will be like. I prognosticated at the time it was instituted that it was bound to fail. The manager is in a good position to prognosticate on the future of commerce. It is a very difficult thing for us to prognosticate what will happen regarding trade. I said that they would be at least twice those originally prognosticated. The mariner destroyed his barometer because he was angry with it for prognosticating stormy weather.
On January 25th, our word of the day was begrudge. B E G R U D G E. Begrudge. Begrudge is an eight letter word in a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. The grudge is to feel unhappy because someone has something that you think they do not deserve. It also means to look upon with disapproval or envy. Similar words include envy, resent, and loathe. Examples of sentences using begrudge are I don't begrudge him his freedom. She begrudged Martin his affluence. She's worked hard to get where she is, you shouldn't begrudge her the success she's earned. After what he's been through, it's hard to begrudge him the money he has. Many commuters begrudge every minute spent in traffic. I certainly don't begrudge him the Nobel Prize. Tellurian was our word of the day on January 26. T E L L U R I A N. Tellurian. Tellurian is a nine letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Tellurian means an inhabitant of the earth, a terrestrial, or a dweller on the earth. Similar words include, mortal, human, earthen, terrestrial, earthbound, earthly, secular, and worldly. Examples of sentences using Tellurian are. This suggests to me that it is not distance per se but a property of the atmosphere that gives us our Tellurian seasons. I have worked many a Tellurian fair. Jim, what are the Tellurian figures for exactly 500 miles up? Roger is undoubtedly of Tellurian parentage. Tellurium gravitational force is very large. I was the first Tellurium the Martians had ever seen. On January 27th, our word of the day was entwine. E N T W I N E. Entwine. Entwine is a seven letter word and a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. Entwine means to twist something together or around something. It also means to spin, wind, or twist together. Similar words include enlace, interlace, intertwine, intertwist, interweave twist, and weave. Examples of sentences using entwine are The snake entwined itself around the branch. He entwined his fingers with hers. Progressive and traditional education often entwine. The old-fashioned porch was entwined with many creeping plants. In the old days, mover-making was entwined with political and social life. She knows how to entwine herself in your affections. On January 28th, our word of the day was bowdlerize. B O W D L E R I Z E. Bowdlerize. Bowdlerize is a 10 letter word and a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. Bowdlerize means to remove words or parts from a book, play, or film that are considered unsuitable or offensive. It also means to edit by omitting or modifying parts of a text considered vulgar. Similar words include, censor, clean up, expurgate, launder, red pencil, and sanitize. Examples of sentences using bowdlerize are The version of the play that I saw had been horribly bowdlerized. If you bowdlerize Story of the Wing it wouldn't be as interesting a book. 
Every edition of his letters and diaries has been Baudelaireized. Baudelaireize a classic novel by removing offensive language. I'm Baudelaireizing it, just slightly changing one or two words so listeners won't be upset. The publisher refused to Baudelaireize the classic novel so the school board voted to ban it. On January 29th, our word of the day was calcareous. C-A-L-C-A-R-E-O-U-S Calcareous Calcareous is a ten-letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. Calcareous means mostly or partly composed of or resembling calcium carbonate. In other words, containing lime or being chalky. Similar words include, lichen, chalky, mal, silicious, baseball, podzol, and null. Examples of sentences using calcareous are. The underlying rock from which the water was abstracted was calcareous. Dispersibility affects species richness in calcareous grassland in space and time. This includes the newly reclaimed land of sandy calcareous and saline origin. Soils are calcareous poor in fertility and characterized by a soil crust formation. Calcareous rocks appear to be on the sides of Mount Mendif. On January 30th, our word of the day was reprehensible. R-E-P-R-E-H-E-N-S-I-B-L-E -E -E. Reprehensible Reprehensible is a 13-letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. Reprehensible means deserving censure or condemnation. If someone's behavior is reprehensible, it is extremely bad or unacceptable. Similar words include, condemnable, deplorable, blameable, blameworthy, censurable, culpable, and reproachable. Examples of sentences using reprehensible are, I must apologize for my children's reprehensible behavior which I assure you will not go unpunished. It would be morally reprehensible to allow this to happen. What he did was evil and reprehensible. Sometimes a mother has to do what's best for her child even if it's reprehensible. We condemn this reprehensible attack as an act of violence. If you're a bargain hunter, it's not reprehensible. Swadizar was our word of the day on January 31st. S O R D I S A N T. Swadizar. Swadizar is a nine letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns enormous, dog like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns many, few, millions, eleven. Swadizar means self-proclaimed or so-called. It is used when someone claims to be a particular thing especially when you do not accept that person's claim. Similar words include, self-styled, professed, so-called, self-appointed, self-proclaimed, would-be, supposed, and alleged. Examples of sentences using Swadizar are, Accordingly, he tendered a purse with some gold in it to the Swadizar captain. I don't think either of these Swadizar friends is overflowing with love for the other. He is a Swadizar literary critic. 
She threw the Swadizar epic novel aside in disgust. It traces these Swadizar barons in an appendix. Now the folding doors were ajar the Swadizar Mrs. Oldfield peeped. On February 1st our word of the day was knavery. K-N-A-V-E-R-Y Knavery Knavery is a seven-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Knavery means lack of honesty, acts of lying, cheating, or stealing. The quality of acting like a villain or a rascal is knavery. It also means rascality or a roguish or mischievous act. Similar words include, dishonesty, antic, caper, frolic, gag, jest, prank, roguery, and trick. Examples of sentences using knavery are. Some dirty political tricks can be called knavery. No system can wholly protect fools from the knavery of others. Knavery may serve, but honesty is best. The media suspects some knavery going on in the political campaign. Knavery and flattery are blood relations. On February 2nd our word of the day was exteriorize. E X T E R I O R I Z E. Exteriorize. Exteriorize is an 11 letter word and a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. Exteriorize means to turn outward or give an exterior form to something, externalize. Similar words include, objectify, personify, materialize, personalize, and manifest. Examples of sentences using exteriorize are We exteriorize our feelings of grief by erecting monuments to the deceased. The book, as a result, has a vague detached strangely exteriorized quality. Somehow the internet has become this exteriorized imagination. Such are those moments of intense meditation when the mind exteriorizes its universe. He claims the device could measure the response of the soul while exteriorized from a being. When your country lacks everything, when there are killings and terrorist attacks, it's hard to exteriorize your happiness. On February 3rd our word of the day was squirm. S-Q-U-R-R-M Squirm Squirm is a six-letter word and a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. To squirm means to move in a twisting or contorted motion especially when struggling. It also means to move from side to side awkwardly, sometimes because of nervousness, embarrassment, or pain. Similar words include, twist, worm, wiggle, writhe, and wrestle. Examples of sentences using squirm are, he tried to squirm free, but the police officer had a firm grip on the man's wrists. Nobody spoke for at least five minutes and Rachel squirmed in her chair with embarrassment. The fish squirmed on the ground for a few moments and then lay still. Before Seth could react, the creature squirmed down the drain. The very mention of her singing made her squirm uncomfortably. It made him squirm to think how badly he'd messed up the interview. On February 4th our word of the day was analgesic. A-N-A-L-G-E-S-I-C Analgesic Analgesic is a nine-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. An analgesic is a medicine used to relieve pain or a type of drug that stops you from feeling pain. In other words, an analgesic is a medicine that takes away physical pain. Similar words include, 
painkiller, anodyne, and anesthetic. Examples of sentences using analgesic are An over-the-counter analgesic is not going to suffice for this pain. Codeine, morphine, and fentanyl were the analgesics used most often. Rachel gave the girls some analgesics for her pain. Patients receiving acupuncture were significantly less likely to need analgesics for low back pain. This cream contains a mild analgesic to soothe stings and bites. Paracetamol is one of the most commonly used analgesics in Britain. On February 5th our word of the day was rambunctious. R A M B U N C T I O U S Rambunctious Rambunctious is a 12-letter word in an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. Rambunctious means full of energy, cheerfully and noisily. It also means noisy, lacking in restraint or discipline and difficult to control. Similar words include, rowdy, boisterous, unruly, wild, exuberant, rackety, noisy, loud, and clamorous. Examples of sentences using rambunctious are I can hardly believe that the staid business executive standing before me was once the rambunctious playmate of my youth. Driving a long distance with four rambunctious children is not exactly fun. It turned out we had a lot in common, we were loud, unpredictable, and very rambunctious. Their rambunctious son always got into trouble. Rambunctious debate is central to America's democracy. Becky was a sassy, rambunctious New York girl he'd met when visiting his aunt. On February 6th our word of the day was girlless. G-U-I-L-E-L-E-S-S -E -E Gowless Gowless is a nine-letter word in an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. Guileless means free of deceit, without deception. If you are guileless, you are not a liar, you are innocent. Similar words include, transparent, genuine, honest, innocent, real, simple, sincere, and true. Examples of sentences using guileless are She was so guileless that he had no option but to believe her. He is a straightforward man with a guileless smile. He stopped directly in front of me with a guileless look on his face. Defense attorney Roger Berlingame described his client as a singularly, sunny, childlike, guileless, trusting person. She regarded him with wide, guileless blue eyes. The draw wasn't working, so I tried a fade, he says in his typically guileless way. On February 7th our word of the day was Paladin. P-A-L-A-D-I-N Paladin Paladin is a seven-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Paladin refers to someone who fights for a cause or a champion of a cause. If you are a paladin for animal welfare, you probably spend your free time volunteering at the local shelter and taking part in fundraisers that help keep it going. Similar words include, champion, fighter, hero, and advocate. Examples of sentences using paladin are, A paladin embodies good, and must therefore be pure of heart and never stray from the path of righteousness. 
This leads to the spectacle of elite conservatives pretending to be paladins of the masses. Trudy is an idealistic paladin seeking better treatment for the homeless. The table remained quiet for a few moments, and a wave of uneasiness flowed between the two paladins. I would totally want my senator to be a paladin. Ida B. Wells of the Fiery Memphis Weekly also known as the Free Speech was the best known of these black press paladins. On February 8th our word of the day was confection. C-O-N-F-E-C-T-I-O-N Confection Confection is a ten-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Confection means a food rich in sugar, a decorated cake, or an unusual sweet dish. Chocolate layer cake, strawberry lollipops, and vanilla bonbons are all confections. Similar words include, sweet, dainty, delicacy, goodie, kickshaw, and treat. Examples of sentences using confection are One of the perks of working in a candy shop is getting to try all the new confections. I have seen a lot of questions about whether chocolate biscuits are confections or biscuits. Our sons, tired out, were humped together asleep, the youngest clutching a sugary confection in one sticky fist. Academics will call the book a childish confection and analyze it as a media myth and pop psychology. She looks like some kind of delicious confection. It's cotton candy, a fun confection for one moment, and just plain sugar the next. If the Vikings win, New Orleans Mayor Mitch Landria will send a supply of king cakes, a traditional Mardi Gras confection. On February 9th our word of the day was blackball. B L A C K B A L L. Blackball. Blackball is a nine-letter word and a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. Blackball means vote against, refuse to endorse or refuse to assent. It also means expel from a community, club, or group. Similar words include, defeat, kill, shoot down, vote down, vote out, banish, cast out, ostracize, shun, and ban. Examples of sentences using blackball are, they must not know about my sordid past, because if they did, they would immediately blackball me. He was initially blackballed because of a dispute he once had with two committee members. Based on the above district-level analysis, the blackballing campaign did not decrease voter turnout. Is it going to be sent around to see whether anybody is going to blackball it? Oh! How right the EU Parliament was to blackball him from the EU Commission. Most clubs are exclusive in the sense that you can be blackballed because people do not want you. On February 10th our word of the day was contrarious. C-O-N-T-R-A-R-I-O-U-S Contrarious Contrarious is an 11-letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns. Enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. Contrarious means difficult to deal with or obstinate. It also means perverse and antagonistic. Similar words include, cross-grained, wayward, contrary, obstinate, and cantankerous. Examples of sentences using contrarious are, I do not know how people tolerate teenage girls, they are the most contrarious creatures ever to walk the earth. They will be drowned going overland, after the contrarious way of the world. It was the son who sang the death of Nelson under such contrarious circumstances. 
It was just bitterly disappointing and contrarious that the one person he wished to see was Commodore Graham. But before he could set to work there came more contrarious orders. What other art gives scope to natures and dispositions so diverse and to taste so contrarious? On February 11th our word of the day was wretch. W. R. E. T. C. H. Wretch. Wretch is a six-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. A wretch is a person pitted for his misfortune or a person who experiences something unpleasant. It also means a miserable person, one who is profoundly unhappy or in great misfortune. Similar words include, poor devil, poor soul, poor thing, miserable creature, sad case, and unfortunate. Examples of sentences using wretch are, who trampled on my flowers? I bet it was those two little wretches who lived next door. The clerk was an ungrateful wretch who stole money from his employer's cash register. Amazing Grace saved a wretch like him and ended slavery in Great Britain. You wretch! You promised you'd give me a lift. I felt a pang of jealousy suddenly, it caught me off guard and made me feel like an ungrateful wretch. I forgive you, you ungrateful wretch for you are my brother's son. On February 12th our word of the day was gravitas. G. R. A. V. I. T. A. S. Gravitas. Gravitas is an eight-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Gravitas means dignity, importance, seriousness, or solemnity of manner. Formality in bearing and appearance. Gravitas is seriousness and dignity. Similar words include, lordliness, loftiness, grandeur, decorum, and sobriety. Examples of sentences using gravitas are, The new leader has an air of gravitas that commands respect. She spoke with gravitas about the serious thought and hard work that had gone into making this Easter bonnet parade the event it was. She's a comic actress who lacks the gravitas for dramatic roles. He's an effective enough politician but somehow, he lacks the diplomatic gravitas of a world leader. Badger was appointed to a post for which he has the expertise and the gravitas. You might try to speak with gravitas but no one will take you seriously if you're wearing clown makeup and giant floppy shoes. On February 13th our word of the day was boondocks. B. O. O. N. D. O. C. K. S. Boondocks. Boondocks is a nine-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Boondocks refers to any area in a country that is quiet has few people living in it and is a long way away from a town or city. It also means a remote and undeveloped area or a rough or isolated area. Similar words include, backwards, hinterland, countryside, nowhere, and upcountry. Examples of sentences using boondocks are, I have fond memories of my childhood home but I would never trade city life to go back to the boondocks. This place is out in the boondocks, you'll never get here by bus. Why did Phil buy a house way out here in the boondocks? There's no one around for miles. Mary lives way out in the boondocks in some tiny town. McGregor edits a little paper in the boondocks. Leah continued her news report about the all-important boondocks village of our childhood fame which is better off to forget. On February 14th our word of the day was demure. D-E-M-U-R-E. Demure. 
Demure is a six-letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. Demure means reserved, modest, shy or quiet and well-behaved, typically used of a woman. A demure person can be described as polite and a little shy. A demure outfit is a modest one, think high neckline and low hem. Similar words include, coy, overmodest, coquettish, unassuming, meek, and mild. Examples of sentences using demure are, Grace gave him a demure smile. She wore the demure dresses approved of by the school authorities. Old photos of Maggie show her young and demure. Two demure little girls sat near their mother. Far from demure she performed daring stunts and rode astride like her brothers. She is beautiful, demure, and always present at social gatherings. On February 15th our word of the day was prescience. P-R-E-S-C-I-E-N-C-E -E Prescience Prescience is a ten-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Prescience is the fact of knowing something in advance, for knowledge. In other words, having the power to foresee the future. If you can see into the future, then you have prescience. Similar words include, foresight, clairvoyance, precognition, second sight, foreknowledge, and provision. Examples of sentences using prescience are. Some of them have occurred exactly as predicted and stand as proof of my prescience and insight. Did she realize in a flash of prescience that there was no earthly future for our sweet Cecily? She shared great prescience in selling her shares just before the market crashed. Over the years, he's demonstrated a certain prescience in foreign affairs. With the uncanny prescience of children, they understood that he was a fake. A fortunate prescience was on her side throughout her long and fascinatingly unpredictable career. On February 16th our word of the day was unavailing. U-N-A-V-A-I-L-I-N-G Unavailing Unavailing is a ten-letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. Unavailing means producing no result or effect. It also means achieving little or nothing, ineffective. Something that's unavailing doesn't achieve the desired results. Similar words include, futile, ineffectual, in vain, useless, unsuccessful, failed, fruitless, and unproductive. Examples of sentences using unavailing are Finally, when that proved unavailing, I put my hand on the punk's chest shoved him off his board and finished out my ride. Efforts to reach the people named in the report proved unavailing. My search for this has proven unavailing, so I thought I'd call on my reader's knowledge in this matter. Years of strenuous effort to prove the case have been unavailing. He died after a brave but unavailing fight against a terminal illness. After an unavailing search for a pair of matching socks, you were forced to wear a blue and green striped sock on one foot and a pink polka dotted sock on the other. On February 17th our word of the day is perpetrate. P-E-R-P-E-T-R-A-T-E Perpetrate. Perpetrate is a ten-letter word and a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. 
Perpetrate means to carry out or commit a harmful illegal or immoral action. In other words, to be responsible for something mischievous or bad. Similar words include, commit, perform, execute, do, affect, bring about, carry out, accomplish, inflict, and wreak. Examples of sentences using perpetrate are, why do these criminals feel they can perpetrate such horrendous crimes and get away with it? Only a sadistic depraved person could perpetrate a crime like this. A crime has been perpetrated against a sovereign state. In this country, half of all violent crime is perpetrated by people who have been drinking alcohol. Federal soldiers have been accused of perpetrating atrocities against innocent people. Spamming is also being used to perpetrate criminal acts. On February 18th our word of the day was involution. I-N-V-O-L-U-T-I-O-N Involution Involution is a 10-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Involution means complicating something or the state of being complicated. It also means marked by elaborately complex detail. Similar words include, involvement, participation, intricacy, complication, twist, turn, entanglement, and contortion. Examples of sentences using involution are The tale itself is a mere sketch with no involution of plot nor any great interest in events. There's a streamlined serenity to her work even as it follows odd involutions. Just such a fondness for involution became the hallmark of his prose. And the involutions of the plot become if anything more elaborate than in the first half of the poem. He said his experience was typical of involution in China today. The involution of the thriller's plot made it hard to follow. On February 19th our word of the day was billet. B I L L E T. Billet. Billet is a six letter word and a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. Billet means to lodge soldiers in a particular place, especially a civilian's house. It also means assigning temporary accommodation to. Similar words include canton, quarter, put up lodge, and station. Examples of sentences using billet are During the Second World War, the building became a billet for soldiers. Every colonial household was expected to billet a British soldier. The soldiers were billeted in the town hall. Many citizens were happy to billet the soldiers in their homes. Our life alternates between billets and the front. Most of the army was billeted within the town. I don't have an apartment, I just sublet or billet or crash on someone's couch. On February 20th our word of the day was cornucopia. C-O-R-N-U-C-O-P-I-A Cornucopia Cornucopia is a 10-letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Cornucopia is the property of being extremely abundant or means a large amount or supply of something. It is a symbol of prosperity consisting of a goat's horn filled with grain, flowers, and fruit. Similar words include, profuseness, richness, argosy, gold mine, motherload, treasure trove, and wellspring. Examples of sentences using cornucopia are The cornucopia of job opportunities overwhelmed the immigrants who had come from a town with only one employer. The festival offers a cornucopia of pleasure. The market is a cornucopia of fruits and vegetables. The table held a veritable cornucopia of every kind of food or drink you could want. 
The book includes a cornucopia of wonderful stories. Harvard has produced a cornucopia of leaders for the United States in many fields. On February 21st our word of the day was one horse. O-N-E-H-O-R-S-E. One horse. One horse is an eight-letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. One horse means very small, remote, and insignificant. It also means small, unimportant, unlimited. Similar words include, slow, quiet, minor, obscure, sleepy, unimportant, small time, backwards, and jack water. Examples of sentences using one horse are, I am leaving this one horse town and heading into the big city to seek my fortune. Would you want to live in a small one horse town for your whole life? Then Mrs. Carson enters from outside complaining that there's not enough parking in this one horse town. Sadly, I not only originate from the same one horse town as Glen but also used to live on the same street. The teeming plot is centered on a prairie village rotting from lawlessness, a one horse town where the horse broke down to quote the opening song. In the one horse town of Oberlin, the old bank had been turned into a hotel for the few passing tourists and the locals all seemed to be in the same business, antiques. On February 22nd our word of the day was Eldritch. E-L-D-R-I-T-C-H. Eldritch. Eldritch is an eight-letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. Eldritch is used to describe something weird and sinister, ghostly or uncanny. It also means strange or unnatural, especially in a way that inspires fear. Similar words include, weird, unreal, shadowy, eerie, uncanny, magical, mystic, strange, abnormal, and freakish. Examples of sentences using Eldritch are, An Eldritch screech from someone or something in the distance sent chills down my spine. Her Eldritch powers continued to grow and threatened to overwhelm her. The injured and indignant animal gave vent to a succession of Eldritch screams. She is described as eldritch and freaky odd by the people of the village. And the woman whose voice had risen to a kind of eldritch sing-song turned with a skip and was gone. The 1906 earthquake toppled or knocked askew thousands of tombstones and statues increasing the cemetery's eldritch appearance. On February 23rd our word of the day was reverential. R E V E R E N T I A L Referential Referential is an 11-letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, 11. Reverential means full of honor, respect, and admiration. It also means to show and manifest veneration. When you're reverential, you treat someone or something with a lot of respect. You might speak about your beloved kindergarten teacher in a reverential voice. Similar words include, admiring, deferential, polite, solemn, appreciative, devout, dutiful, venerating, and respectful. Examples of sentences using reverential are A pilgrimage is a reverential act performed by reverent people. He opened the ancient book with reverential care. Though predictably reverential, 
the exhibits were also thoughtful and provocative. The street in the softer hours of the morning has an almost reverential quiet. Their names are always mentioned in reverential tones. She placed it at his feet and said in a low reverential whisper, please accept my offering. On February 24th our word of the day was excrescence. E, X, C, R, E, S, C, E, N, C, E. Excrescence. Excrescence is an 11 letter word and a noun. Remember, a noun refers to a thing, a person, an animal, a place, a quality, an idea, or an action. Excrescence means an unattractive or superfluous object or feature. It also is a distinct outgrowth on a body or plant resulting from disease or abnormality. Similar words include extrusion, bulge, protrusion, swelling, bump, prominence, excrescency, growth, lump and tumor. Examples of sentences using excrescence are Richard was extremely concerned about the weird excrescence that seemed to be developing on his hand. Residents regard the hulking apartment building as a hideous excrescence on their once lovely street. The males often have a strange excrescence on the tip of the snout. A hard bony excrescence was visible above one of the animal's hooves. The new office development is an excrescence on the face of the city. Each generation sees the technological advances of the previous era no matter how near to the excrescences of an ancient world. Irregularities have to be handled as natural aspects of a language not as excrescences which needlessly complicate the grammar. On February 25th our word of the day was hidebound. H-I-D-E-B-O-U-N-D Hidebound Hidebound is a nine-letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. Hidebound means having fixed opinions and ways of doing things and not being willing to change or be influenced especially by new or modern ideas. In other words, to be stubbornly conservative and narrow-minded. Hidebound things or people are stuck in the past and unable to change. Similar words include, traditionalist, conservative, conventional, orthodox, fundamentalist, diehard, hardline, and died in the wall. Examples of sentences using hidebound are It is no use trying to reason with your grandfather, he is a hidebound old man who will never understand your position on the matter. They are working to change hidebound corporate cultures. This is the kind of step that is quite often made in science by a junior researcher not yet hidebound by tradition. Startups move faster, collaborate better and aren't trapped by corporate bureaucracy or hidebound ways of thinking. Green's co-workers praised his cool rationality and rejection of hidebound ideology. The hidebound innkeeper refused to see the need for a website insisting that the inn had done without one for over 150 years. On February 26th our word of the day was catawall. C A T E R W A U L Catawall Catawall is a nine-letter word and a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. Catawall means to cry or screech like a cat in heat. In other words, to make a high unpleasant noise like a cat. It also means to protest or complain noisily. A catawall is a yowl, shriek or loud cry. If you've ever heard two cats fighting, you know what a catawall sounds like. Similar words include, yowl, howl, wail, bawl, cry, yell, scream, screech, yelp, squall, whine and meow. Examples of sentences using catawall are 
Ever since the neighborhood strays chose my garden as the place to congregate and caterwaul, I have not had a sound night's sleep. He seems to think that singing soulfully is to whine and caterwaul tunelessly. I'll report the pair of you to the colonel if you don't straighten up, there will be no more brawling or caterwauling in this kitchen. He continues to caterwaul about having to take the blame. Media outlets that caterwaul about all this become the victims of commercial crises. If we think back to the caterwauling in the Houses of Parliament just before Christmas last year we are certainly in a better situation, he said. On February 27 our word of the day was locomote. L-O-C-O-M-O-T-E. Locomote. Locomote is an eight-letter word and a verb. Remember, verbs are words that show action, occurrence, or state of being. To locomote is to move about or to move from one place to another. Similar words include, go, travel, budge, move, shift, and stir. Examples of sentences using locomote are. Unlike most other fish, seahorses maintain an upright position when they locomote. An amphibious fish that can locomote on land. Cars have relieved us of our burden of locomoting ourselves and carrying our effects. Human infants cannot locomote on their own. We can locomote to the next town by car, train, boat, or just plain old walking. Before modern aircraft trains were one of the most effective ways to locomote. If your sibling's popcorn munching is annoying you during family movie night, you might want to locomote to a chair on the other side of the room. On February 28th our word of the day was Malibu. M-A-L-L-E-A-B-L-E Malleable Malleable is a nine-letter word and an adjective. Remember, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns, enormous, dog-like, silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, eleven. Malleable means capable of being shaped, bent or drawn out. It also means easily influenced, trained or controlled. A malleable metal can be pounded or pressed into various shapes and a malleable personality can be changed or trained. It's easier to learn when you're young and malleable. Similar words include, ductile, pliant, soft, workable, suggestible, susceptible, impressionable, and amenable. Examples of sentences using malleable are I am not very handy with a chisel so when I sculpt, I prefer to use malleable materials that I can bend and shape as I please. They are as malleable and easily led as sheep. Over my many years, I've been both bemused and horrified by how malleable and elastic they can be. The cult leader took advantage of the malleable, compliant personalities of his followers. It would be best if you had a malleable pillow that would mold to the curves of your neck. Mother wanted me to be a malleable girl who would take her advice. That's all for today. Thank you for spending your time with me. I hope you learnt something new. Remember, practice makes perfect, and we'd love to hear from you so leave a comment after every video. All comments are welcome. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you receive similar videos every day. Have a fulfilling day. See you tomorrow. Cheers!